prosecuted one of the most infamous Capitol riot defendants. But tonight, he's a defendant himself. State troopers say former federal prosecutor Patrick Scruggs stabbed someone on the Howard Franklin Bridge. And this happened after a series of crashes on the bridge Tuesday morning. What a scene here. Scruggs worked as a prosecutor in Florida's Middle District for more than 10 years. Fox 13's Evan Axelman reports tonight on the chaos that led to that violent incident. It all started with a driver passed out in the middle of the highway on the Howard Franklin Bridge and ended with a former federal prosecutor allegedly stabbing the man. Pictures taken by Tara Iglinski show Patrick Scruggs standing outside of a car in a three-car pileup. Someone else's bloody hands are sticking out of a window. He had a lot of blood on his arms and cuts on his arms, and I was trying to figure out what had caused that. Troopers say Scruggs had bashed through that window and stabbed the man multiple times. Just before that, the man had been passed out while behind the wheel. His car stopped on the Howard Franklin Bridge. Two good Samaritans had also stopped and evidently startled him awake. He drove forward, hit the good Samaritan's car, and then drove into Scruggs' path. Troopers say that's when Scruggs stopped and took out his pocket knife. It's just so sad that someone would react in that way. There's so much road rage nowadays. Witnesses might not have expected it from Scruggs had they known he was a federal prosecutor for 10 years. He just left that job for a private practice. But while he served the U.S. Attorney's Office in Tampa, he helped on high-profile cases, including that of Adam Johnson, who stole the lectern from Nancy Pelosi's office during the Capitol insurrection. His actions speaks to his actions and his actions only. Uh, we don't ever want to see someone get out and you know commit some kind of violence like this, whether it be at a home, a restaurant, or on the highway. Troopers also say Scruggs used the knife to scare the Good Samaritans off when they tried to help the stabbing victim. Traffic was stopped for three hours, after which the former federal prosecutor was charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. It doesn't matter who he is, what he did was really, really scary, and the way he reacted there was really frightening. Scruggs bonded out of jail after about 10 hours in custody. We do not yet know why that driver was stopped in the middle of the highway and passed out. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.